All right, the kind of rig I'm building here, basically is kind of the rig we use out here in the deeper water uh, for like muttons, cooper, African pompano. I mean, we've caught all kinds of stuff on them, cobia. Um, basically, it's one big Carolina rig. So you got you got your main line, you got your main line, bimini twist, you got an eight ounce lead, goes onto your bimini, swivel, holds the lead still, and then you're gonna run about 30 to 50 foot of 40 pound fluorocarbon leader and a J-O, 5-0 J-hook. And that's gonna be your rig out here for the deeper water. The reason we can get away with these long leaders is because there's no hard bottom. It's all sand. So the longer the leader, the better the bite because you're getting everything away from the lead, fish can't see it, it looks a little more natural, allows your bait to swim around if you have a live bait on, and your whole bite is going to be on the tip of that rod. You can't feel it, it's too deep. And sometimes it's a little love tap, sometimes the rod doubles over. Nine times out of ten, it's a tap. And the only way you can set a hook in 160 foot is by cranking that handle as fast as you can. Here you go. Are you going to be a mutton or a jack? One of the two. Oh, African popper. AP. Easy. Why? Easy. Leader me easy. Easy, 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 easy. Stud AP. Is that your first African pompano? First time I've ever seen one of these. Oh, nice. How'd that thing fight? Oh. It was good. Shopping for the holidays or a personal upgrade? With countless purchasing options, it's easy to wonder, why should I choose Wholesale Marine? Simply put, quality, variety, and availability with a low price guarantee. Our inventory remains regularly stocked with premier products for your best boating experience. Wholesale Marine is proudly owned and operated as a family business with boating in our blood. Visit WholesaleMarine.com and start your order today. Pull right off, fight him. Keep the tip low. Pull, pull, pull. Reel, 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 reel. Come on. Nice. Uh, gee. Hook set right in the corner. Boy, good job. You know how we do? I like it deep. Right inside there. That's AP. That's AP. That's AP. That's AP. That's AP. That's AP. Who's up there? Let's go, Chris. Let's go. Got a reel. Got a reel. Got a reel. Got a reel. Stud. Biting, 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 biting. That's him right there. That's him right there. Got him! Biting! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Now 
snapping, snapping heavy. Your 50 kilohertz is typically going to be for your deeper water, okay. and the lower the frequency, the, the deeper it's going to punch through the water. Also, your 50 kilohertz is going to be a little bit wider beam angle, so you're going to cover a little bit more of the bottom as well. But we can switch over, go to our frequency, and turn the high frequency on, and we can switch over to the high frequency, where you're going to see your bottom gets a little bit thinner, and we're going to get a little bit narrower beam, but we're going to be able to see fish that are right under the boat with that little bit narrower. Now can you split screen that and put high and low at the same time? We can actually, yep. You can touch on there and you can go to your mode and you can do what's called dual frequency. So now you're going to have your low frequency on the left and your high frequency on the right. So you can see the difference between the two. And it'll be a benefit because some fish will react better to the high frequency or some will react, react better to the low frequency. But so for the deeper water you want to use the lower frequency. Yeah, if you get out past a few hundred feet, you're pretty much going to be essentially beyond your low frequency because you need that you need that lower frequency to punch into that depth. So does this screen split three, six, eight? So the, you can do um, a side-by-side, -side, a dual split, you can do a triple split, or you can do a quad split. Okay. So you can have four different pieces of information oh, up if you wanted them. Gotcha. So if we wanted to, we could go to our home screen and push on here to add a screen, and we could do a triple. So if you wanted chart, well, we'll do chart small, you could have a little radar and then a big fish finder. So you could have a three-way split like that. So oh, if you awesome. needed your radar, your chart, All right. zoom back in on your chart here, get zoomed in onto our boat. You could have your radar up if you wanted to in your fish finder. Awesome. Some guys will run a screen like that, especially if they're out, you know, offshore. You know, they want to be looking at the bottom, they're doing some drops. So they need to see where they are on their chart. They want to see the bottom for their fish finder, but they could also keep an eye on their radar for birds. Gotcha. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Real quick, real, 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 real. Don't start start reeling. Start reeling. Take your thumb off the spool. Yeah, don't. Muns have real soft lips, so you kind of want to feather them up. It is a mud. Who knows what it so is? Far. Row down. Yeah. Row down. Row down. Yeah, stop high. Reel down. In there, you want to reel your weight about two to three inches from your rod tip, and be ready to fight the fish and walk backwards and give me your weight. I don't want to be reaching over the boat fighting for your weight. You just need to walk back and straight hand it to me. Perfect. I'll be ready to fight him. Keep your rod tip straight. Don't get tip wrapped. Okay. In case you let you go or what? Just in case he starts running again. Right. Hey, that's that pink boy! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. work! Yeah. First oh, job on his head, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good job, man. Nice mutton snapper. Just pulled him up here to the fish camp. This time of year we get a lot of mutton snappers down here in June. June's a really good month for these spawning muttons. Nice and beautiful fish. Um, we get a lot of these medium-sized ones on the wrecks that come out here and leave the reef, come out here and spawn. Um, when I gaffed it, actually a bunch of roe came out of her, which is kind of cool. But So we come out here, hit the wrecks, just kind of drift off of them. And, they just kind of stack up and come out here and catch a couple and go into the next wreck. It's a pretty cool fisher we have down here. It uh, makes up for the lack of the red snapper fisher we have down here. Uh, from bringing them up so fast, the air in their body and in their gills expands. Keep and, keep working. and in their air bladder. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Lift up. Be ready to fight them. Stay there. You ready? The air in their um, 
in their gills and in their bladders no, expand. Keep, your, keep yours in free spool. Makes them float. That's a nice one, dude. Yeah, that's a real one right there. Oh, yeah. See that? Pretty work. See that right there? That's hey, you how you can tell. You, I'm glad keep reeling, you... keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Don't stop. Stand don't up, stop, stand don't up, stop, stand don't up, stop, stand don't up. stop. Real, 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 real. Watch the motor, watch the motor, watch the motor. No, 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 no. no. Oh, woo. On the double, baby. On the doubles. So he just worked that one up. That's a bunch of, What's just so like sweet? when you're scuba diving, you can't come up too fast. Same thing for a fish. It'll kind of expand them and get them to pop, and they start floating once you get them up. Makes all their organs expand, and the air bubble up, and eventually they'll float up. So hopefully, hopefully we'll work number two up right here. You yeah, you're about to float them. You're about to float them. Come here, come here, come here. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Hey. Hey, son, what's up, pretty? Hey. Get your pretty ass. Hey, hey. What's up? hey. hey. who broke him off? Hey. <laughs> In the pink. In the pink. Nice I think this is uh, pretty sick. One of the best days of mud fishing me and you've had together. This Stepped is out. sick. You drop a bait down there on it. Everybody we can't even keep the bait up. down because we got to reel up so they don't get tangled. We're going commercial on these guys. We're dropping oh, yeah. four at a time. Big pink boy. Hey, they keep growing. Woo! Hey. Use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress anchor. Welcome, Captain Mac Macos, today session. So we got in some big muttons today, and uh, we're gonna kinda go over a few things on how to clean these guys. So, um, first thing, flexible knife, sharp edge. Now look, these scales are tough. So what I like to do is I like to put the blade under the scale. That way I can start a cut, because if you start cutting on the scale, you're not gonna get through that skin. So I like to go under the skin, or under the, under the scales, that way I can get to that fresh skin, that way that knife goes through it. Then all I'm doing is I'm making sure the tip of the knife is hitting the backbone. If I'm hitting the backbone, I know the knife is staying straight and I'm not gonna lose any meat off this. it over, do the same thing. All right, so once you got to that point, most of the meat's off this side of the backbone. So it's just a matter of rolling that knife back over to finish this side of it. You get a rib cage here, which you want to roll the knife up over to keep that on the fish. That way you don't have to cut that off and lose meat. So I kind of start, get the rest of it off that inside here. And that's when your flexible fillet knife comes into play. You can make that angle off that backbone a little bit better and not lose some of that meat. And what you want to do is roll that knife up. There's a rib cage right there. Ooh. You get about six or seven pin bones that run right there. So you just want to cut that piece out. That's it. Two primo fillets from a fatty mutton.